Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with Katia V5. In this video lesson, I am going to explain the step one of the design procedure. That is understanding the requirements for the press tool design. As I had mentioned in my previous video, understanding the requirements for the press tool design is nothing but understanding the part requirements. Part requirements like the material, the material thickness, the burst side, grain direction and the production volume. What you are seeing on the screen is the engineering drawing of the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. As you are aware, we are designing the blanking die for this component. The part information like the material, the material thickness and the burst side is available on this engineering drawing. However, for the production volume requirements, we will have to check with the head of the department or our supervisor. The power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack is made of low carbon, high strength, cold rolled steel as per Indian standard 14491 grade 260Y. This information is available on the engineering drawing. However, to find out the mechanical properties of this material, we will have to refer to the Indian standard document. I suggest you check on Google for the Indian standard document number 14491. You can find the mechanical properties of low carbon, high strength, cold rolled steel of grade 260Y in this document. The yield strength is 260 Newton per millimeter square and the tensile strength is 350 Newton per millimeter square. The thickness of the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack is 3.15 millimeters. As you can see on the engineering drawing, the burr is towards the inside of the component. We need to make sure that the burr is towards the inside of the component while bending operation. Now, let me explain few things related to the production volume. Production volume, also referred to as annual production volume, is the number of units manufactured in a year. If the number of units manufactured in a year is in between 10 to 1000, it is called low production volume. If the number of units manufactured in an year is between 1000 components to 20,000 components, it is referred to as medium production volume. If the number of units manufactured in an year is between 20,000 units to 50,000 units, it is referred to as high production volume. For sure, we don't have to design a press tool for low production volume requirements. We will design and manufacture a press tool for medium production volume and high production volume requirements. However, the cost of the press tool should be kept low for medium production volumes. A car scissor jack is a high production volume requirement. I am sure all of you are aware every car comes with a car scissor jack. Hence, car scissor jack is also a high production volume requirement. Hence, we are going to design press tools for each and every component of a car scissor jack. In this course, we are going to design the blanking die for the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. That's all in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment your questions. Thanks.